he has a, a new CD out, and uh, he's one of those. He's one of those comics that that I admire because of his brilliant ink pen. He can write his ass off, and and his hard work ethic. I want you to laugh, enjoy him, and remember his name because when you get home, you can buy his new project. This is Darren Carter, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up. How great was that? One more time for Arsenio Hall. Hi guys, I'm Darren Carter, the party starter. Are you ready to start this party? Let's do it. She's ready, yeah. She's ready. Lady, I'm looking right at you. You're not ready, what? She's like, oh dear, what kind? Oh, you're ready. <laughs> You've been replaced. <laughs> All right, enough of the political material. Uh, let's, uh, <laughs> I love it, man. Can we turn up the microphone a little bit? I want to tell this audience about my very first motorcycle, but I'm not just going to tell you. I'm going to give you a ride. If you like what you hear, you let me know. Ready? You ready, brother? Let's do it. <clears throat> You guys like Harley Davidson? Oh! Well, I had a scooter. Um, <laughs> sorry, I uh, I know it's I got I know I have to hook you in because if I don't, no one gets excited about the truth, right? If I'm like. Who here likes Suzuki 185s that shake? <laughs> Once you go past 27 miles an hour, and you really shouldn't take it on the freeway because uh, you're in the slow lane, <laughs> getting blown around like a jet ski. <laughs> go around, asshole. I'm on the shoulder. <laughs> Like, har it's not even the same, like a Harley in a scooter, like a Harley. Live to ride, ride to live. Right, like a scooter, live to hide, hide to live. <laughs> Evil Knievel. I'm mischievous Knievelous. <laughs> I'm on the sidewalk. Ring, ring. <laughs> Harley. Hardly. <laughs> Tattoos and leather. Stickers and a sweater. <laughs> An orange flag, safety first. <laughs> Harleys are loud, they make car alarms go off. I did that. Yeah. Right, scooters, you frighten a small poodle. <laughs> Take that, Pierre. I saw they had a Harley Davidson travel neck pillow at the airport. It was badass, man. It was black and orange, had American Eagle, ah, had flames. I don't even have a motorcycle. I want to get this neck pillow just so I could take naps at biker bars. <laughs> just walk in, pop an ambient, excuse me, brother. <laughs> like to snooze and cruise at the... Uh... I'm like, who is this Harley Davidson travel neck pillow for? Then it occurred to me, maybe it's for someone his wife won't let him have an actual Harley Davidson. But he's allowed to have all the accessories, right? That's right, brother. I got a Harley Davidson belt buckle. Harley Davidson assless chaps. I wear them on special occasions like Mother's Day. Black History Month. Cinco de Mayo, Yom Kippur, Ramadan, Tom Cruise's birthday. I got my, when I'm watching Sons of Anarchy, I got my Harley Davidson motorcycle ear muffs, Harley Davidson motorcycle leg warmers, and my Harley Davidson hypoallergenic micro beaded feather filled double deluxe mother trucking neck pillow. <laughs> which I wear to my four-door Honda Accord sedan. <laughs> whoop, whoop. 
I pop in, that's right, I got my Harley Davidson sheepskin seatbelt protector. I make sure all four windows are rolled down so I can let the wind blow in what's left of my hair. I check myself in my Harley Davidson rearview mirror, make sure I still look like Bart Simpson. Yes, I do. <laughs> I mean, I mean, his wife tries to sit in the seat next to him. No, why should you sit sidecar? Woman, you, get, you walk around, you get directly behind me in the back seat. And you get rid of that headrest and you hold on tight. We're going for a ride. I got my Harley. Okay, you get the idea. So, um... <laughs> All right, so, all right, I'm really, I'm gonna go all the way with this. <clears throat> so in his garage, he does not have the finest all-American made machine on two wheels. No, he has a microphone, speakers, and his imagination. Sir, if you could turn it up just a hair. <clears throat> I'll be, first I'm his wife, and then I'll be the character. Charlie! Charlie, you're not getting a Harley. Charlie, I told you, you're not getting a... I don't need your lip, woman. <laughs> so suited and booted, G'd up from the feet up, he walks out to that garage, turns on the microphone, turns on a fan so he can get the full effect. <clears throat> and he goes for that ride. I'm going to Sturgis! <laughs> I can't hear you over the rumble of my freedom. Releases ladybugs into a fan. Road candy. Thanks for letting us pass, brother. It's hard to breathe in the garage. Too much exhaust. I'm bringing in all the fumes. I'm getting a wobbly and wazzy. Oh crap, I need to lay the bike down. Somebody give me some sugar water and a cookie and an orange juice. Road rash. Almost knocked myself out. Thank God I was wearing this neck pillow.